Greetings everyone, I hope you're all well. So this video will be a continuation from video 23. If you haven't seen video 23, please view the, um, the video before uh, this one, because it'll give you more of an idea of uh, what I'm going to be doing today. So um, in 23 we made some big chops to reduce some um, interesting roots, shall we say. <laughs> And um, I needed to see how it was going to callus over here, and it's actually doing really well. And it's given me an idea now of, of how it's going to callus over, basically. So what I'm going to do is a little bit of microsurgery, shall we say, um, to kind of polish this bit up here and try and remove this ugly bit here in the middle, uh, which basically goes through, let's just say, these legs here and through the underside here. So I'm going to try and tidy this up a little using a very small diamond tip burr. Um, let's see if I can get right in there with that. So it's uh, very, very small. Uh, this is an adapter for it, so this will go inside the adapter. And these are what I used to use for uh, glass engraving. It's uh, very similar to... Um, a rotary tool um, like a Dremel but um, yeah I, I wouldn't recommend a Dremel to anyone to be honest I'm sorry Dremel but your rotary tools suck <laughs> I used to be a glass engraver and I used to use a Dremel and um, they're terrible the motors are so unstable and if you're um, if you know anything about glass engraving um, the one thing you need is a very stable motor if you don't get a stable motor, you get a very strange um, finish. Uh, so yeah. So in the end, I ended up switching. Oops, sorry about that. Keep knocking the camera. So in the end, I ended up switching to a micro motor. Um, so you can see this white box over here. That is the actual power supply, and this also controls the motor as well. Let me just see if I can pull it out a little here. Yeah. So. This is the speed, and this also controls the direction of the motor, so forward or reverse, which is great. Um, the beauty of this, it's very precise, extremely precise. It doesn't waver from the speed you set it at, unlike a Dremel. Uh, I mean, that's been my case anyway. Dremels drift from, um, from one RPM to another without you even touching anything. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to be using that. So. The adapter goes into the um, the hand piece here. Um, just going to lock that on, and then I've got a foot switch here. There we go. And yeah, they're actually used um, in dentistry. These type of tools. Um, you can probably pick one up from eBay or Amazon. Uh, I highly recommend them. They're super easy to use, and they, and they'll you can use them for a lot of things. So anyway. What I'm going to start by doing first is I did actually apply some cut paste here after we uh, reduced it. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the old cut paste first because I don't want that clogging up the drill bit. So uh, I'm going to try and do that now um, as much as I can with the camera in between me. Right. So I'm just using a very small like chisel type thing here just to try and remove all that gunky stuff there. I did this as a safety measure because I didn't want any problems later on, anything getting contaminated. So I'm just going to carefully scratch that away and try and remove as much of it as possible to prevent that clogging my diamond bit. And the only reason why I'm doing this is mainly for the um, for the appearance. Um, I don't particularly like what's going on here, so um, that's why I'm doing it. I'm not a big fan of the cut paste, but it does the job when it comes to protecting the tree. But it's very very sticky stuff. Um, yeah. Okay. So 
So what I'm going to try and do is remove all of this round section here and this section here and then tidy this up a little as well. So hopefully we won't have this wobbly, wobbly bit there. So let's get going. I'm going to try it with this. Um, this is a normal grit um, burr. Um, if you watched, um, sorry, if you saw some of my photos on Facebook, so that's Zenobi uh, Bonsai on Facebook, uh, you'll see that I actually used a needle one to drill um, wire holes in pots. So that's the very small ones. And that was with a coarse one. So this one's a normal one. All right. Even sounds like you're at the dentist. I'm just going to try and scratch some more of that out. Really. hoping after this you don't even know it happened <laughs> it seems to heal really well which is why I didn't um, why I left it first because I wanted to see how it healed before uh, doing this all right so the next stage is to get sort of like that's the, the part there I need to try and get rid of here so what I might do is Getting rid of that for a second. Get some pliers. See if I can just remove this temporarily. And if you're wondering why this is on here, um, I do explain in the video 23. I shall repeat myself. I'm actually just going to cut that off actually. There we go. And I can put it back on afterwards. Right. That's better. So now I can get right in there. What I'm going to do also is using one of my trusty little yogurt pots and a smidge of water. I'm just going to use this to dip my burr in just to try and clean it. You might be making a mess everywhere, hopefully. And I've got some alcohol somewhere. Where is it? There they go. Just got some rubbing alcohol I'm going to pour into that into this little dish here and do the same for that as well. That will hopefully just clear away any uh, any stuff. And it also um, get rid of any Germans as well. There we go. I hope you can see it okay. Thank you. 
you now I should be able to remove, remove a bit more with uh, another mini chisel type thing. Yeah, I've got that outer layer off. Slowly, slowly working my way in there. of it which is fantastic there we go looking a bit less gross now so what I'm going to do now is just tidy up the edges I'm trying to remove any of the bits that we don't need around here as well trying to keep it smooth just go here over I'll um, use a brush afterwards just to brush away like all of these bits here. As well, which I'm going to remove. There we go. So it's starting to take shape. Just going to get in there a little. I hope you can see this, I'm, uh, I'm trying my best with the camera while trying to concentrate on not butchering the poor dude. So 
around you, roll it around as well as if it never even happened. Yo, it didn't even happen. That's right, it didn't. You won't be known as Mr. Dinklage ever again. Let me go. I'm just going to take a little off of there. I've got some more roots in there, the old roots I think, oh no it's not, it's just a bit of a bark and stuff. So I'm just going to remove that bit of sticky stuff there. Okay, so I've drilled or sanded, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I've trimmed it all down and actually I'm just going to do a little tiny bit more there. Um, it's so hard to do this. <laughs> right. So the idea is to get a bit more arc here. I'm going to be using um, a nylon brush for this one. Now, these are a set of brushes you can actually find in the UK uh, in a shop called uh, Home Bargains. Uh, for a set of three different brushes, I think it was less than £2. So, 
I remember buying one on its own for nearly three pound from a bonsai shop. So, and these are all these are different brushes. So I think that's a steel one, nylon one, and maybe copper or something. I'm not sure. But they've got like little bristles here as well, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to be using a nylon one for this one because it's a bit softer. And I'm just going to be using this just to, you can see here, we've got some white marks here. That's caused by hard water areas and, and we unfortunately live in hard water area. Um, so it leaves this kind of lime, kind of calcium deposit on the bark here. And um, you can use a brush like this just to, to brush that off. And also I might have to start using um, bottled water, I think, for, for this guy. I'm just brushing away and trying to get the surface level as well. Remove, <coughs> excuse me, removing all that old um, cut paste as well. So I'll let me to see bits that I can really touch up as well. So what I'm actually going to try and do now is remove the white section a little bit deeper than the brown section because the brown section will eventually just roll over the white section and just callous over and heal. So I'm going to just gently remove some of that, just to give it a head start. come off anyway. So I've got some more there. see the marks here as well so yeah I think I'm definitely gonna have to start trying um, maybe bottled water or something in the future for this one that minimal uh, minimal 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 eyes oh god I wish I could say that properly
that's better. I can live with that. I think that's a lot better. So the next thing I'll do is put on some cut paste and that'll just help protect it. Still got that bit there I need to get off. So annoying. Come here. because it's just like a general purpose um, seal and heal stuff it's extremely sticky and messy I don't like using it but I'd rather use it and get messy than the tree die because I didn't put any on and I'm going to be applying it with um, cotton bud as well because I don't want it on my fingers because it's a bugger to get off Anywhere where I've put, like, removed, I'm going to apply it. Sounds like my next door neighbour's board. No one knows ever. So there we go. Um, yep. Yeah, so these bits here, I think what I'll do, I'll get some bottled water and I'll um, give the trunk a good brush with some bottled water and a nylon brush. Because uh, brushing it without the, the, the water doesn't seem to be having much effect. So I'll try that and that should remove it. Um, he's doing pretty well, he's getting some new leaves as well. Um, just there. So there's been no ill effect from video 23 up until the end of 23 up to before doing this. Uh, I don't think anything or you know, I don't think this will do any harm to him. Might have been a little bit stressful, but um, I think he'll heal over really nice. So what I'll do I'll post an update video um, when he's starting to callus over again maybe or when he's um, healed later on. Uh, in the spring or summer so um, yeah I hope that's been uh, had some use to you uh, so there we go off you go 
All right, take care, have fun, stay safe, and see you soon. Bye-bye.